All right, I'm making this video for a friend of mine who had a problem while decocking a pistol and set a round off, uh, which is a huge problem for safety. And in the sports like USPSA and IDPA, of course, you're going to get dis disqualified. So I'm going to show you how to reduce that chance. But before I show you that, I uh, just want you to know that on a pistol like this pistol, Tenfoglio Stock 2 or CZ SP01, the 75 series, uh, without the decocker, meaning the decocking lever, there's always going to be a chance of setting the round off while manually decocking this pistol. So you have to really be careful. So understand that. All right, I've already checked the pistol. So after you load the pistol, of course the hammer is going to be cocked back. What most people do here is grab with their fingertips or thumb and the fingertip. They grab the sides of the hammer, fire the trigger, and ease forward. And that's how they usually do it. And that's how most people, I think, do it. Now, over the years, I've seen many people, in the process of doing that, finger slips off and set the round off. So firing the round. So in order to reduce that, what I've done over the last 20 years or so is trap my thumb into between the hammer and the back of the slide, fire the trigger, and just slip the thumb off. As you can see, it's a little bit more gross movement. I do that a few times. Just put your thumb in here, fire the trigger, and slide it off like so. And you have to remember that while you're doing that, you do have to have the finger on the trigger the entire time. If you let the finger off while you're doing that, you see that you go to half cock. For most pistols, that has a half cock notch. So, fire the trigger, keep the finger on the trigger back, and just release and slide it right off and there you have it safer way to decock a pistol double action pistol